What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you what, how to find the intersection between lines and planes. We have three possibilities. The first possibility is the line and the plane intersect at the point and there is exactly one solution. The second possibility is the line lies on the plane so every point on the line is also on the plane as well. So we have infinite number of solutions. And the third one, the line is parallel to the plane and there is no solution because they don't intersect. Let's see the first example. Here it says, determine if the line and the plane intersect. If so, determine the solution. So the plane is 9x plus 13y minus 2z equals to 29 and the line is x equals to 5 plus 2t, y is negative 5 minus 5t, and z is 2 plus 3t. What I can do, I sub all these things in the plane. So 9 times 5 plus 2t plus 13 times y, negative 5 minus 5t, minus 2 times z, 2 plus 3t equals to 29. So when you distribute it, 9 times 5, 45. 9 times 2t, 18t. 13 times negative 5, negative 65, negative 65t, minus 4, minus 6t, equals to 29. Now I need to simplify it. We have 45 in here, 65, and negative 4. So we move it to the other side, 29 minus 45 plus 4 plus 65 and here 18t minus 65t minus 60 that's negative 53t and here 29 minus 45 plus 4 plus 65 that will be 53 so negative 53t so t will be negative 1 so since a single value of t is available, it means that the, the line and plane intersect at only single point when t is negative 1. So we sub it there to find out the point of intersection. So x equals to 5 plus 2 times negative 1, y is negative 5 minus 5 times negative 1, z is 2 plus 3 times negative 1. So we have 5 minus 2, 3, negative 5 plus 0, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So it's going to be 3, 0, and negative 1 is going to be the point of intersection. For next one, I'm going to do the same thing. We have the plane and line. I just sub this expression into the plane equation. So for x, we have 4 plus 60 plus 3 times y, which is negative 7 plus 2t minus 4 times z which is 1 plus 3t equals to 10. So it's going to be 4 plus 60 minus 21 plus 60 minus 4 minus 12t equals to 10. So that will be 6 plus 6 minus 12 is 0t and here we have 10 plus 21 minus 4 so 0t equals to we have plus 1 here, so it's going to be 31. 0 t equals to 31, so that's not possible. It means that there is no solution. Because no value for t satisfies this equation. So it means that the line is parallel to and distinct from the plane. So that's why there is no intersection with the line and the plane. Let's see the next example. In this one we have plane and also the line in vector equation. I do exactly the same thing. 4 times negative 2 plus 3t negative 2 plus 3t plus minus y which is 4 plus t plus 11 times z which is 1 minus t equals to negative 1. So it's going to be that's negative 2. Negative 8 plus 12t minus 4 minus t plus 11 minus 11t equals to negative 1. So that will be 
zero t and here we have negative one minus eleven plus four plus eight that's gonna be zero so zero t equals to zero it means that for any t values this equation is valid so we have many different infinite uh, point of intersection it means that the line lies completely on the plane so now in this example without solving determine if each line intersects the plane so here the direction of line is 3 to 1 and the normal vector for this plane is 3, negative 1 and 1 if the normal vector and this direction, if the dot product is zero, it means that they are perpendicular. So it means that the line and plane are parallel. So it's going to be three times three, nine, two times negative one, negative two, plus one. That's going to be eight. So it means that line and plane are not parallel. So they must intersect. Next one. We have negative 2, 1 and negative 4 as the direction of the line. And the normal vector for this plane is 4, 0 and negative 2. If the dot product is 0, it means that these two are parallel. So 2, negative 2 times 4, negative 8. 1 times 0, 0, negative 2 times negative is going to be 8 plus 0. So it means that they are parallel. So it might be parallel and distinct or line must, might be on the plane. Let's check out. If this point is valid in here, it means that line lies on the plane. If this point is not satisfied in this equation, it means that there are two distinct line and plane. So let's say 4 times 1 minus 2 times 1 equals to 11 so 4 minus 2 is not equal to 11 it is equal to 2 it means that we are dealing with parallel and distinct so now in this example in this question I want to show you how to find out the distance between the point and the plane find the distance between the plane and these points which is 10 3 and negative 8 so first of all we need to find out the normal vector which will be 4 2 and 1 for this plane so let's find out just one point on this plane if I consider we can use anything 4 4 x it's gonna be 4 times 4 and 0 and 0 that's gonna be valid so 4 0 0 is on the plane then I can say that using this formula d equals to dot product of n and let's say pq divided by the magnitude of the normal vector so normal vector is this and here we have the point to any point on the plane so that's going to be 10 minus 4, 6, 3 minus 0, 3, negative 8 minus 0, negative 8. So then with the dot product is going to be 4 times 6, 24, 2 times 3, 6, 1 times negative 8 is negative 8, divided by 4 squared plus 0 squared plus 0 squared. It's going to be 4, and here we have 22. Oh, actually I needed to find... 4, 2 and 1. I made a mistake here. 2 and 1. So it's going to be 16 plus 4 plus 1. That's square root of 21. Which will be 4.80. That's going to be the distance. Now next one. Next one again. The normal. Let me write it here again. 4, 2, 1. And let's check if the point is on the plane or not. If the point is valid on the equation of 
plane it means that the distance is zero so we're gonna have that's the first thing you need to do always two times four times two plus two times two plus four minus sixteen equals to zero let's say eight oh that works so that's gonna be zero equals to zero it means that the point is on the plane so it means that the distance is zero distance 